Hey, good morning, everyone. It's 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. Hope you're doing well. I did survive uh, my my first day teaching pre-K three all the way up to eighth grade um, the other day. So I survived, and I brought our little no mascot. I posted up there the other day. Bubbles like, what the heck is that? This is our little no mascot. Um, a lot of times when I do uh, groups and I meet the first time, so I'll talk about that a little bit in a second. But I wanted to talk about <laughs> a wake-up call. For those who want to make side hustle money and teach some classes, it's been a while um, pre-2020, let's put it that way. Um, did a lot of in-person training, a couple days straight, eight-hour days. It was a long day. And I recall standing up and teaching the class all day long because you can't, you know, we get soft in the Zoom COVID post 2022 world where we're teaching from our desk or talking from our desk, sitting in, in the chair and kind of lost the sight what it was like to teach or stand or speak for eight hours a day or close to six hours um, during the day and what you got to do and how you got to get there. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. A reminder for those who want to go out and to teach classes and teach agile or teach any class you gotta get in shape i mean your legs it's, it's funny but we'll talk about that I'll talk a little bit about my teaching experience yesterday how i used agile and scrum and how i'm going to apply it to what i'm doing i got through one class i got another half session but that's not gonna happen this weekend but the following week i'll do the other half so i have i've taught all the kids through the school got at least an introduction and i share a little bit of that hi bubbles what's up bubbles Bubbles here. So this is 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show, and we got Bubbles Cat, our co-star, who is on the show. <laughs> you can't see the podcast, but Bubbles decided she needed attention. Hi, Bubbles. All right, don't knock over the microphone. Anyway, it's 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I am Greg Master, Scrum Master and Agile Coach, and I hope you're doing well today. We talk about Scrum and Agile in a very practical and tactical way. So you can bring more value to your customer, not work crazy hours for that value for your customer and have a little fun along the way. And yesterday was a combination of fun and everything. And I have to tell you, um, so, you know, everybody wants to do the teaching thing. I'm actually prepping again to do some teaching, making an agreement with somebody I know who actually taught me um, years ago to join their group and do some teaching. So I'm, I'm in the process of getting my safe research and all that kind of stuff. And it just made me recall the days when I would teach these classes, taught, taught some icy agile classes and things like that. And taught classes when I worked at a company, I would have, they would be there all day. I'd have them for a full day and do a agile immersion thing for like a day. Um, sometimes two, depending on where they were and what the corporation wanted to do. And um, so yesterday, all day long, and when I got home that day, my legs were tired. They're exhausted. And it's really important to take a break and sit in between things because it goes nonstop. And, but it reminded me, getting ready for teaching those classes, what it was like pre-2020 teaching classes, teaching Agile and Scrum or any class in front of a crowd where you're standing all day long because there's nothing worse than you sitting down and teaching a class. It's 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 the worst experience for the students and the people that want to learn. And I think for the for the teacher, the person teaching the class. So you're really standing up all day. So prepare for it. You know, I've been start I've been going to the gym on a daily basis, though today I didn't go. Maybe I'll go in the afternoon. I had to go do some errands. Um, but I'm trying to catch up from yesterday. So it was a good workout all day yesterday. But it's good to get in shape, be ready for it, be prepared, prepare for standing. Think about how you're going to design your, your class to incorporate breaks and things like that. Um, Cause we always talk about zoom breaks, but there's also breaks for the people that are actually teaching the class. All right, come on, bubbles. Come here. You're just getting in the way of things, baby girl. All right, bubbles, lay down, lay down. <laughs> bubbles all stirred up today. She wants to be on the show. All right, you, you relax now, Bubs. No, well, she was gonna put, she'll come over in a second because I just stopped petting her. Anyway, so you got to prepare for it, and it was it was a, a beautiful thing yesterday. And one of the things I, I did when I when I coach new teams and 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 bring them on board or join new um, scrum teams, it's funny. There's a lot of activities going on. Um, 
some coaching scenarios and things like that. We talk about new teams and how to do it. And uh, one of the things I normally do is have my teams pick their name for their team and give them a name rather than team A or team B or IT team or whatever it is and give themselves a name. So to change it up a little bit because I didn't have that capability with the kids is I took the little gnome. Whoops, he's upside down. <laughs> There's a gnome, upside down gnome, gnome, um, made the gnome the mascot for the group. And I started with every class and had every kid give a name because the, the, the gnome doesn't have a name. And I let them go, you can use guy names, girl names, or whatever names you want for the gnome. And, and, and every kid is getting an opportunity to participate. And I really do believe it's important when you teach a class to get the students involved in what you're learning, what them be participate, have them quasi help build the learning environment as you go. They're expecting you to teach them some things, right? But you should also go and and um, have them participate in building what the format, the foundation, the class. So I've been doing. That's how I teach classes. That's how I teach Scrum and Agile. So I'm doing that with the kids too. So it was fun. Um, you have to maintain a high energy level through the class. You want to be positive because you want the, the students and the people in there to be positive. So you can't come into a class all like mellow or not call, you know, you got to have your caffeine, whatever you need, but you got to have that high energy level because without that high energy level, your whole class is going to go to sleep. So this is a couple of reminders of these long classes when you teach them and you teach the agile stuff, or if you do a whole day thing, or if you do a speech, or if you go out and do a, a speaking circuit, you know, you, you host a webinar that's all day long. You have to be prepared to talk all day long and break it up and organize in such a way that you don't get exhausted and you keep that energy level at a high level for the people that, that you're, that you're speaking to. Um, so these are some things that if you are thinking to 10x your career and you want to teach a class, because I'll tell you one thing, teaching a class or doing a lecture or sorry, is a great way of elevating your career, whether it be with internal or external or potential opportunities in the future, get yourself out there. So it helps. So, so to, for me, one of the other benefits of helping these kids, I'm helping the kids, but I'm also gaining from it too. I'm getting back into the speaking shape, right? How do I keep motivated for 10 different audience, well, 11 different audience grade level? Um, some of the classes are more than one class, so there's actually more one of the same grade level. And keep it interesting and entertaining. And so they learn at the same time, because I think if you don't have fun, you're not going to learn anything either. So it's a it's a participative fun learning experience where they're going to learn some technology. I'm going to push them to levels they have not ever experienced before in their lifetime as far as technology goes. So the, the opportunity is going to be there. So I can't combine all that just like in that. So when you do teach a class, you know, reminding it's a, it's a, it's a wake up call to remind you that, okay, you're teaching an all day class. You're in front of an audience or you speaking in front of an audience for a, a long session. You have to be in shape. You have to exercise. You have to get the leg muscles going. You have to get your body in shape. You make sure you get the proper food, nutrition, things like that. I got the whole thing. I had two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches because <laughs> I, I was running late. But, I, you know, you got to eat. You got to make sure you're drinking the water and everything like that. And in the in technology room, I wasn't, you know, I actually kicked one of the uh, teacher's aides out of the room. Well, I didn't. I said, well, you can't have your coffee in the classroom because there's a rule in the building that you can't have food or drink in, in the computer room, which makes sense. Get sticky keys and it's not your keyboard. and You got to share with all the other kids. So you really don't want that. So, um, you know, I, I can't drink water or coffee during the session. It's not there. It's not in the room. You know, I have my water bottle, but it's stashed away in my, my bag and, I'll get it. I'll get. I'll get a drink every once in a while in between, but I'm nowhere near any of the computers because I ain't paying for all those computers. So you have to figure out how to do that, right? So you have to stay hydrated, make sure you get some nutrition, some food in you, so that you can maintain an all day thing. You can't just not eat. I've seen people who taught classes who would skip lunch or not eat or or not. They they're not as 
motivated or energized throughout the whole day. And you have to stay there because you got to elevate everyone in the room's energy. So I wanted to bring that up just some fresh in my mind experience, this reminder of the pre 2020 when we taught live in person. And I know that's coming back for different modified ways of doing it, but it's fun. It's enjoyable. It's I had to I had to go on there. The, the the put up a post the other day about having that visual communication and turn on the computer. I will be honest, there's nothing like teaching a class in person and watching them and getting feedback from all the kids in the class or people that are in your class. There's nothing better, right? It, it's just to me, it's pure joy watching them and getting that interaction. Um, when you teach a class and they have the monitors off or you're in a team and they don't have that, you don't get that, right? It, it, it was nice. It was a nice change of pace. And it, and it, and I think doing that with a company, getting some people in person every once in a while, doing a joint thing where you're all doing stuff adds another level of energy to the team. So I don't necessarily share that, but again, this is summing up, get in shape, get prepared, find some ways to practice that you're doing full day sessions with training people or do lectures or speaking to prepare you for teaching in class. Cause these people are paying some good money for in-person training. You have to be on the ball. You can't do it half baked. Like a lot of people do in these zoom calls where they just talk, right? It that's not how it works. And your job is to get everyone entertained and motivated, get them involved, walk around the room, teach from the back of the room, get them going it's a different animal. It's a different beast. So I wanted to share that with you. Just a friendly reminder because we are getting back. I think 2024 is going to be more of a combination of remote and in-person events and stuff like that. So prep yourself. This is a good way of 10 X in your career, you know, and, 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 and taking the zoom stuff on the road, make it in person and modify it a little bit. What would it be like in person? If you taught a class, try it out, right? Get some practice. But I will say, the gnome and I, who is unnamed, we still don't have a name because I got a whole nother day session to get names. Um, I had a great time. So I encourage people, go teach a class. Volunteer. If you ever took a class from someone before, you know, reach back out to them. Hey, do you mind if I sit in one of your classes and participate? It's a great way to learn. It's how I did it. And uh, I want to wish you a, a great day. Happy scrumming. Enjoy your day. And we'll see you tomorrow when we do We Team Wednesday. Take care, everyone. Bye. See ya.